Hey guys, it's Mark from High Strung Audio. This is a review of the HPA 4BL DAC and headphone amplifier from Fostex. This item is made in Japan. The quality of the components inside this DAC amp um, headphone amplifier is, are very, very good. Um, this is one of my favorite units, um, DAC and you know DAC and headphone amp units for the price, and also. Uh, even without talking about price, this thing sounds fantastic. It's going to be very, very hard for you to get something that sounds better than this for the money. I've tested and actually wasted a lot of money on buying a lot of de you know DAC headphone amp combos. I also bought separate DACs, separate headphone amps, put them together. And honestly, a lot of them have a tough time sounding better than this. Um, what makes this sound so good? Well, the first thing is it's made in Japan. So the quality on this thing is extremely high. It's made very well. And um, it really does have high quality knobs and buttons. Um, the inside the unit has very high end components. There's some Nichicon gold transistors and things like that inside. Uh, you have a Burr Brown DAC chip, which I personally find very good. I think they're better than a lot of the low end um, you know, Sabre DAX or the AKMs. I, I think it sounds a lot more defined and very, it's very dynamic, especially when used in here. Um, it's not a very powerful headphone amp. I mean, it's got 150 watts, millo 150 milliwatts for the uh, unbalanced, and I think it's 300 on the balanced. But it's enough power to run most headphones, and to me, it's more than enough. You have a gain, a gain switch uh, for 10 dB. This thing could work as a preamp, and by the way, on, on a side note, uh, this sounds just as good as a preamp as it does a headphone amp. So you have a you know output select here. Um, I hooked it up to my stereo, and it sounds fantastic. I run a USB from my computer into this. I run this into my either my Ketchis S300 or my uh, Odyssey Cartago. Once in a while, I'll put it on my uh, my Shitagier, my Class A amp. It just sounds great as a preamp. Um, it's excellent, excellent. It's not just good, I would even say it's excellent. Um, just to explain to you how good it sounds, let's talk about uh, this as a preamp first. Just to explain to you how good it sounds, when I compare it to something else that I have, all of a sudden I hook this up, it sounds like my speakers, which are bookshelves, you know, um, it sounds like they're going 10 hertz lower than they usually do. So if they put out 40 hertz, it sounds like the bass goes deeper, like maybe around 30 hertz, when I'm using this. The clarity on the top end is absolutely fantastic. It's extremely articulate without being sibilant. Um, and it just overall sounds great. The, the music is pushed forward. Um, it's very dynamic. It sounds very articulate and good, even at low volume. So when this is using it a pre as a preamp and you have you're, this is on low volume, you could really hear and enjoy the music. You don't have to blast it. Like some systems or some components have a very recessed sound. Even expensive components have that. Some of them have it. And you kind of have to turn up the volume to hear anything. And it's a little frustrating. But this, I find myself using this on a very expensive amplifier a lot. You know, I have a lot of components. I always, you know, mix and match and change around things just to get variety. Because I like different sounds at different, depending on my mood. And I like to play with you know, audio components, but I find myself listening to this a lot. There is one downside to this uh, this um, DAC headphone amp, and that downside is it comes with a switching power supply. It's 12 volts, and obviously we all know that when you use a, a switching power supply and it doesn't have its own linear power supply, which most components do and it actually increases the size so if this was a, a bit more expensive you'd have a big transformer and obviously this would weigh more and it, it would be built into this and linear always sounds better than a switching which is this is called a wall wart um, anybody that knows about audio hygiene knows that this generates a lot of noise and noise really degrades the music when you're using a linear power supply you're really enhancing everything, all aspects of the music, especially clarity. And it really raises the enjoyment factor. Um, but to save money, you know, obviously Fostex went with a switching power supply, which kept the price pretty low. 
And, you know, obviously it appeals to a bigger uh, base of buyers. So what did I do? I went out and I, I didn't want to spend about, I didn't want to spend three or four hundred dollars on a five hundred. And this is actually four hundred and ninety dollars. I didn't want to go out and spend four hundred dollars on a good linear power supply. That wouldn't really make sense because, uh, you know, this thing, why would I do that? So I found this Chrysdonia laptop power bank. I found this on Amazon. It's about a hundred bucks and it actually puts out several voltages. You can set it from the switch and it actually does have 12 volts, which this needs. So I went and I hooked this up to this and I ran it and I was blown away by the increase in sound quality. Um, but honestly, it was subtle and I mean, it, it's, it's enough to warrant the $100 purchase, but it's still a subtle increase in sound quality. I wanted a little bit more. So what I did was, when you're using this, the conduit from the DC out to the DC in on the unit, I went and bought a, um, a very expensive cable. It's about a $50 cable made out of silver. And it's made by a company in China called Ghent Audio. I'll put the link below so you can order this. And basically it's a very high quality um, silver cable and you use it from the power bank to this. And it really then, after you do that, it really takes the sound quality to a completely another level. I'm talking about, um, I mean, closing in on a $2,000 or $2,500 component. And I don't expect anybody watching this video to believe me, but I am giving you my word that it is, <laughs> it is probably something that for the money that we're talking about here, this is $100. This is, let's say, $40 or $50 with shipping. And this is $489 on Amazon. For this price here, you know, you're not going to be able to, um, to get anything. In my opinion, I bought so many components and I, I know a lot about this stuff. You're not going to be able to get anything that comes close in the sound quality that you're going to be getting out of this. This combination elevates this thing to a completely new level. And it's, by the way, it's very good on its own. But I'm telling you, when you add this, it's like on a whole nother level. The headphone amp section is fantastic. So you obviously have the unbalanced and balanced. Balance is going to put out d double the power of the unbalanced. And I went and I actually spent money on going to Moon Audio. It's a really nice uh, audio website. They sell a lot of uh, audio components and they, they happen to specialize in, in cables for headphones and for different things like that. I actually... Um, I bounced for something called a Blue Dragon with Furtech connectors on each end. And I have to tell you, I was, you know, hooking this up to my headphone and sticking it in the balance port on this, I, my jaw dropped. I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. So uh, this is about $200, to either two or 250 around there. You don't have to get such fancy cables. I think you can get Nutric or other, you know, connection points on this, um, but this, this is just excellent, and I have I highly recommend this cable from Moon Audio. I don't get any money from them. They didn't send me this. I, I paid full price for this. In fact, I paid full price for everything. None of these companies send me any of this. I'm doing this as a as a favor to the audio files online. Um, I think I struck audio file gold with this combination and setup here. I urge everybody watching this video to go and buy this setup. And uh, you know what? I'm confident enough that you can report back to the comments below and report your findings. I think you're all gonna think it's, it's incredible. Um, just to give you one example of how good this is, I had a, an A90, I just recently had an A90 from Topping. It's a $500 headphone amp. It got all rave reviews online. Uh, it puts out like 700, 700 I think 7,600 milliwatts of power. It's insane. It's a crazy, crazy amp. It's got great reviews. And I hooked it, um, I hooked it into a $1,100 Gustard A22. And I started listening to the music and it was good. It was decent. And um, anyway, I quickly switched to this setup here and the difference in quality of sound is night and day better. And it's, mu it's a quarter of the price. So um, I'm probably gonna be, and by the way, another interesting thing is using this as a preamp Sounds better than my Gustard 
um, my Gustar DAC, which is uh, like, like like I said, it's it's an eleven hundred dollar MQA uh, high end DAC with a lot of features. Uh, this sounds better as um, as a preamp as well. So I'm going to be selling my A22 shortly. I'm going to be doing a review on it and then I'm selling it. But this is actually better using this battery setup. This sounds better as a preamp by a good margin. Um, so that is my review. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, what I had to say, please, if it makes a big difference, if you like the video, uh, it helps me. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this where I take audio components, I review them and I also do my best to upgrade them. I have a lot of exciting reviews coming up. So you definitely want to subscribe because uh, I got more things more components that I'm doing where I upgrade them and make them sound better, either through cabling or power supplies or things like that, or little tricks. Um, anyway, I just want to go over one more thing about this amplifier. You need, and it's not an option, you need to break this in and let it run for four to five days. Just let it run on pink noise, keep it on, keep it on a low volume, let it run something, either a pair of headphones or through your, you know, acting as a preamp, but run this for four to five days because it needs breaking. It is not going to, it's gonna sound good out of the box, but it's not gonna sound great. Um, as far as using a USB cable to the, to the computer, um, I, I find the best results for this because it's so revealing, using a, uh, a Cardis Clear USB cable. If you're really like an intense detail junkie, you can use a US, um, AudioQuest Carbon it's got a little silver in it. It's it, if you're sensitive to high frequencies, you may it may not be your cup of tea. But I think the the uh, the Cardis Clear USB cable sounds the best from computer um, and straight into the back of this. Um, so anyway, just to recap, this is the best value um, that I have found in my audio my audiophile quest for getting a good headphone. Uh, experience. I mean, I, I have other, uh, it's going to be very hard to beat this guys, honestly, for them, especially for the money. I urge anybody that, that is on a budget and you can't really afford the best and you really want high quality sound, something that you're going to be satisfied and you, it's going to last you years. You have a beautiful headphone amplifier and you can have a beautiful preamp that could run with your amplifier at home for regular, you know, to your speakers. Uh, you're not going to need better than this. This is like as good as you need. And just trust me, take my word for it. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. Thumbs up and have a great day.